Can you imagine a building that can clean itself and fight air pollution? Air pollution is now a major environmental issue around the world, especially in heavily populated developing countries. Burning of fossil fuels by transportation and factories contributes to major sources of air pollution, producing toxic pollutants such as nitrogen oxides and hydrocarbons. In China, more than a million people are estimated to die just from breathing dirty air each year. Fortunately, researchers are working on redesigning building materials to make it possible for buildings to actually help reduce air pollution by including an engineered nanomaterial in the cement. This material, known as titanium dioxide, is made of tiny white particles that are less than 100 nanometer in diameter. After mixing them with the cement, they give the building a distinct white color. When the sun shines, UV light activates the nanoparticles to produce powerful oxidants known as free radicals. These radicals can rapidly break down organic pollutants on the building's exterior into carbon dioxide and water. Which are then released into the environment. This process is known as photocatalysis and works without any energy source other than sunlight. The residual pollutants are washed away by rain, so the buildings become nice and clean again. Buildings with this new material have been shown to improve air quality in Europe and Asia. In recent years, titanium dioxide nanoparticles have also been used in self-cleaning windows. And work in a similar way to combat air pollution. The future of buildings will embrace more nanotechnologies, but are these nanoparticles safe for people's health and a bigger environment? Please follow the next video on the environmental impact of nanotechnology to find out.